today is 2nd of May 2020 and uh, I am taking revision class for class 3 English 2 right so uh, for revision we are doing lesson 1 right it's not completely finished but so far what we have learned we were learning about nouns right so nouns we already know what is a noun all kind of naming words are noun right and we in our previous classes we have learned different kind of noun right we have learned common noun and proper noun. We have learned what? Countable noun and uncountable noun. Right. So here we are going to study another two kind of noun. And that is collective and abstract. Collective noun and abstract noun. Okay. So these are two different kind of now, so collective means what? The meaning of collective means group, together. That is collective, right? So noun, words, which means collection. So that is collective noun. And abstract means things that we cannot see, right? Like our feelings, right? Qualities of things, people, right? So these things we cannot see, okay? So these things are called abstract noun. Collective noun is like, suppose... A group of players, right? So they are what? A group of players. Many players together, it's a group of players, right? Then a book, right? So it's a bunch of books, right? Then lots of paper, right? Those are rim of paper. Rim of paper. So these words, they are what? They are collective now, all right? So this means what? It means group. Then of sheep. That means this word implies a group. Flock of sheep means there are many sheep. So this is what? Flock of sheep. Alright? So this is called a collective. When we name a group, similar things in one group, that is called what? Collective noun. Collective, collection, together. Alright? And we have abstract noun, things that we cannot see. Right? Suppose emotions, feelings, right? And what? Quality. Suppose, suppose bravery. Bravery is an, uh, it's a quality, honesty, these are qualities, right? So these things are what? They are abstract now. Because we cannot see them, we cannot see bravery, we cannot see honesty. Then friendship. We know what is friendship, but we cannot see the thing that is friendship, right? So these things, they are called what? Abstract now, okay? I hope you all understand till so far. 